Hey guys, it's Yorki here and welcome to the channel where we've got our first wet race video here with iRacing on the channel. As you can see, we're just coming towards the end of the formation lap and just trying to figure out where the race leader is in the spray up in front. A couple of cars get very close behind as we get rear-ended there. Thankfully, for, well, somehow we managed to escape damage from that. But trying to spot the race leader as to when they're going through the spray is really quite difficult and tricky I think they have now gone which indeed it looks like that they have we're starting to spread out a little bit as we come into the final corner here now just trying to find where the grip is under steering a little bit getting very very close to that outside wall but we managed to avoid making contact with that but you can see as we come to the start finish line just how much this pack has already spread out we're driving the Delara P217 and MP2 car we do have some GTP cars up in front as we now come into the first turn, taking it very cautious and easy. Just trying to survive as we go and make contact with the inside wall there, but we managed to get away with it. Looks like there's a GTP car that's had some issues enough there on the left-hand side of the circuit. We now come into this little chicane section, just trying to find the grip, avoid the puddles in the standing water, trying to stay off that main dry racing line as that is the key to success here in the wet weather as you can hear the rain intensity and loudness getting ever greater as the speed increases and there is the leader spinning off on that left hand side as the spotter was just calling out managed to slip on through without making any contact coming through this section really quite treacherous and danger uh, dangerous as you can see ourselves aquaplane in left right and center and it looks like a couple of gtp cars have really really struggled with that off to the right hand side of the circuit we managed to avoid getting caught up in that ourselves but you can really see on these cold tires just how much we are struggling for grip and for traction and just tiptoeing our way around the circuit there's another car off to the left hand side that went straight on there in that previous braking zone now trying to build a little bit of speed as we try to avoid the racing line where possible a lot of understeer as the front tyres just aren't gripping as so we're making our way through the puddles coming through the S section now and coming out onto the back straight just trying to square off the exit sticking towards the middle of the circuit and staying just off that racing line accelerating now really hear just how loud and intense the rain gets when you get out to much higher speeds how much water there is in the footwells or in the wheel wells sorry of the, uh, the of the car underneath us we've got P1 alongside us somewhere just trying to take it fairly easy as you can see now getting to full throttle looking over there and there he is just about see him there over on the right hand side of the circuit stay well to the inside here hoping that we could find some grip off the racing line as there's a couple more GTP cars spinning off to the right hand side of the circuit and we managed to slip on through and I think the driver who was previously in P1 that we were trying to pass also got caught up in the incident with the, with the GTP that was immediately in front of us hydroplaning and spinning mid corner I think they panicked and went straight on. So now we've got a bit of a clear run. Just over five seconds to P2 in the LMP2 class behind us. But we do have some GTPs fairly close up in front. And, well, we're kind of near enough in the uh, in the top five of uh, the overall standings here in this race. So we come into this section where, once again, a lot of standing water and you can see just how unresponsive the car is as all the water is lifting the tyres off the tarmac preventing it from gripping yeah and struggling for traction fighting the car just being trying to be really tentative where I can just trying to as I said avoid the drier line where there may be rubber so we've now got a GTP bit of a drag race between the two of us I'm gonna lift out of this because I do not want to be going side by side coming through here because the car just wants to understeer and the last thing I need is the GTP taking me out 
and I'm effectively the leader of the class now. So again, just taking the wider sweeping lines coming through the corners, just trying to stay effectively one lane off, or one car whips off the main racing line. I'm hoping that that will serve me well. So coming into the final turn. Breaking really early compared to the dry. See the amount of standing water that is there on the surface of the track. This concrete section here at Sebring is really quite bad. You can hear the loudness of the water and the spray on the underside of the car. Tiptoeing our way through the first turn, trying to stay and hug the inside of the corner where there's some nice grip. Again, well off to the left through the braking zone, crossing over the line to go to the outside, crossing over again on the exit, switching over once more as uh, there's some more chaos unfolding in front of us between two GTPs. Thankfully for us, they managed to get out of the way before we actually arrived there. So yeah, the rain conditions really really tricky certainly a whole new level here within uh, within iRacing brings a whole new dynamic to the racing sim and it's I think the only race sim at the moment that uh, properly does the uh, the wet line I know Automobilist 2 tried to do a bit of something it's this GTP in front of us really seems to be struggling and we just catch the dry line there and it just straight understeer into the side of that driver apologies Stanley didn't mean for that to happen but uh, such is the low amount of grip when you're actually on the normal racing line a car just would not turn <clears throat> and although that's really really good and impressive it's once again you can see the car just understeering Thankfully, we managed to get back onto the circuit and find some grip before we ended up finding the, the wall or spinning off uh, completely out of control. But yeah, it's a really, really impressive feature, which really makes you think and take a whole new approach to your driving here in the wet. As mentioned, Automobilista 2 tried to do something similar but I don't think they quite got the balance right as the last time I tried it was still very much the normal racing line is the quickest way around the circuit I do need to give it another go to see if they have improved that as uh, I know there's been an update or a patch or two since then but iRacing is really the first time where staying off the racing line is definitely the favourable thing but definitely the best thing to be doing here in the wet conditions locking up the inside front tyre there coming into that section hence the huge amount of understeer that we had in turn one but yeah whether they've got the balance on this correct or not I'm not entirely sure I think the grip on the main racing line is probably a little bit too low off the line it feels fairly good but the moment that you go and touch what would be the normal racing line you just lose all sense of grip it's probably a little bit too far in the uh, a little bit too low grip I think so they may need to buff that slightly not much 5-10% maybe but enough just to make it so it's not so utterly and completely punishing and they also need to improve the standing water because Sebring is really really bad for it from what I found as you can see the reflections on the surface of the track it's really quite difficult to actually tell what parts are wet and what parts are very dry because in places the entire circuit is effectively flooded these are probably the worst conditions that you can experience with the tempest system and the rain here in i racing any worse than this it's pretty much red flag conditions uh, you would not be racing because it's, it's just not safe so I imagine that this is probably the worst that you would get and to be quite frank 
I wouldn't want it to be any worse than it already is because uh, this is certainly bad enough and really quite tricky. You have to be extremely patient when racing other drivers just because it's so easy to make contact. But uh, these, this section here with the concrete, you can see it's just water everywhere and there's no real way to get around it. You just kind of have to pray and hope for the best. As you'll probably see once again here coming into this corner. We're locking up the left front tyre this time and it's just absolutely no grip whatsoever. Even though I was off the dry line, the tyre still locked under braking, probably just a little bit too much. Initial application coming through here, it's not too bad. Biden from staying off that line, but yeah, they might just need to balance the uh, the levels a little bit. Also, do something with the spray. It is very very thick, even at low speeds. I think the overall density of them, the spray needs to be reduced. And just make it a little bit more transparent so we can actually see through it, and also make the lights on the cars actually like proper lights, so they're not just textures and they actually emit light instead, like a light should, and therefore be able to be visible through the spray, because as you saw earlier on, it was pretty much impossible to see the cars ahead through the spray. So we uh, go ahead and pass another GTP car that was spun off on the left-hand side of the circuit. So that's up, us up into P3 overall as a LMP2 car have also driven the GTPs in the wet and it is extremely difficult because of the amount of power that they have. These P2 cars are a fair bit easier but you can just see it's just understeer central through certain sections and yeah they need to work on the spray and the, the visibility through it. And then you've got the uh, the windscreen animations of the raindrops they're okay they're, they're passable but there's nothing great or anything to shout home about the the rain effect looks pretty cool as uh yeah it certainly looks like you're kind of tearing through the rain at speed especially the higher speeds it looks really quite good at how aggressive the the rain comes towards the windscreen but the amount of water droplets on the windscreen itself, I think, certainly need to be increased tenfold. As uh, it looks really quite sparse, and then the effect of the running water is okay. There's a few odd little bits here and there that don't quite match up with the uh, the wiper animation, as you can see, especially down towards the bottom half of the windscreen. The top half doesn't seem to be too bad. But, yeah, it can certainly be improved. And this is with the graphic settings turned up to their, effectively, their highest settings for, for the rain. Got the uh, SSR screen space reflections turned up to high in uh, rain-only conditions. Got particles turned up to their, their max a lot, as well as uh, turn that softening option on as well and then the uh, I think it's like the post processing effects or something like that I also have turned on to high which is allowing the uh, the windscreen to have the rain droplets effect but these are all things that obviously iRacing can Im improve the main thing that they have absolutely nailed though the aesthetics could be better is the physics and that is probably the most crucial and most important thing when it comes to a racing sim. Sure, we could probably do a little bit further balance and refinement. But they've got a very, very good and very impressive base to work from already. So we're just driving now and continuing to build our gap to the cars up in front. Just taking a quick look on the back on the black box there to see how much time there is remaining. It was mere seconds, so this lap that we're going to be starting now is going to be the final lap of the race. 
So here we'll talk you through the lap as we try and stay off the racing line. That's over on the right-hand side of the circus. We stay in the middle, then we're going to hug the inside. Very, very tight here. Avoid the inside, inside wall. Stay tight on the exit. Stay all the way over to the left. Break in a straight line. Cross over the tarmac and then turn in late. Get the apex late. Stay the car widths off the racing line. Wider line. Try and square up the exit as best as I possibly can. Staying off the racing line on the inside where there's also some puddles forming coming into the braking zone all the way over to the right hand side of the circuit go a little bit deep and cross over once again then turn the car in get the car straightened up aim it over to the left hand side and here you just kind of want to tiptoe your way through the puddles turn in a little bit early here try and get the car in and break over on the right hand side of the circuit we've gone and locked up the tyre though so we are going straight on and now we're going to find out just how wet and slippery grass is in these wet conditions as you can see extremely wet and slippery to be very very careful with the car just to guide it back onto the circuit but we managed to do so without too much further drama so again power under steering a little bit there and then we managed to find a little bit of grip i get tight to that inside apex staying off the racing line that's over on the left hand side of the circuit for the exit there Again, coming through here, the car just wants to understeer constantly. So you do have to kind of play and balance the throttle a little bit. Again, moving to the outside of these corners, switch over the line on the outside, cross over once more on the outside, and then straighten it up as we cross once again, getting on the power, driving off the exit, running down the centre of the circuit. Coming down towards the final corner, braking nice and early. Doing so in the straight line, just trying to find out and figure out where the grip is. Staying tight on the exit here. Putting the power down once again and coming across the line to finish P1 in what was pretty chaotic and also interesting race here on iRacing. That was a good fun race, racing in the rain. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Until the next video, have fun, stay safe, and take care.